Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here and today I'm gonna be talking about Smile Direct Club. With ticker symbol SDC, it's a company traded on the Nasdaq which exploded a little bit in the past week. And I say a little bit because it went up just about 30% which is not anything crazy but you know for an average stock it is still a very significant move. In this video I'll go over why is that happen, what is the potential and how there are financials and what is my opinion about the situation. So first things first, why is it going up now out of nowhere right? Well, it's quite simple. If you look at their short volumes, the short volume percentage for the stock ticker SDC is 43% on Friday, September 17th. And if we check out here this graph, which you know shows the short volumes and long volumes, we can see on Friday there was 57 million in long volume and 43 million in short volume. So we can see both parties increased a lot, you know, long plays and short plays. What does it mean? Well, there is going to be a big short squeeze. So for now, as it seems, you know, long volumes is winning. Therefore, short, if this will continue on today or even the next days, it means for the stock that there is going to happen short squeeze. What is short squeeze? Well, obviously, it's good if you are buying long because therefore shorters will have to close their positions and people who bought in and went long are going to take out very juicy profits. And here if we check out the a little bit of an older article a week ago, uh, we can see that the average session volume is about 6.5 million shares being traded and the daily trading volume for Monday's last week session was over 42 million and on Friday it was over 100 million so it so the value went more than two times from Monday to Friday. Smile Direct Club was one of the top three trending stocks on StockTwits at publication time. And the percentage of the float sold short is about 33%. So we can see from Monday to Friday, the short volume percentage went from 33% to 47%. And if we check out StockTwits, which they mentioned in the article, we can see that, you know, there's 26,000 watchers. There's been 62 new SDC posts and I've opened it like few minutes ago so we can see people are starting to discover this stock and I don't think it's too late for this to jump into it however first let's go into the financials so if we check out their financial statements on seekingalpha.com we can see that their revenues have been growing quite steadily from December 2017 to December 2019 then the Rona Rona came, so you know the revenues went down a little bit, but nothing too drastic if compared to other companies. And right now they are at 680 million, so it's increased from the previous year, and you know the year is not going to end anytime soon, so they have still a few months to go, a few months to earn more revenue. And if we check out their balance sheet here, right here, we can see that their cash and equivalents are increasing. Uh, to 376 so they ha don't have any cash problems whatsoever as well as their current assets as we can see right now they have about 642 million and if we scroll down to their th total current liabilities they have only 163 so if you divided the total currents with or by the liabilities we can see the number is well well over 1.5 and you know if the number is over 1.5 that means the company is going to grow nicely so you know the bigger the number the bigger the explosion for the company in the short term so if you put this together it's very nicely situated for the for company for the company to grow even though if we go back into the stock chart and we look at a five years chart uh, we can see that from uh, September of 2019 when they uh, began to be trade uh, it's up it's down 64% and there's been some kind of a recovery but you know then it went down again and now shorters are just hitting it really really hard from all sides uh, however people now for the last month they start to notice the short volumes and starting to you know find the shorters which has been very popular for past half a year or a year you know all this subreddits uh, all the wall street bets movements and such so you know this is kind of a big potential for you and me to just hop in and maybe enjoy a little bit of a short-term gains obviously it looks like a great time to go in was about in august or you know early september and now it started to eject upwards but you know with the increased number of shorts and long volumes i don't think it's too late whatsoever and if we check out an article from insider monkey which is well known a stock financial site uh, here we, here we have a little bit from their side on friday they wrote that 
SDC is up around 12.8% despite there being no fundamental news and the market being relatively weak. One potential reason could be Reddit traders who have moved in and out of highly shorted stocks in the past. Smile Direct Club has a short float of around 33%. In terms of the funds we track, 19 elite funds were long Smile Direct Club in second quarter of 2021. So we can see that even like elite funds who manage a lot of millions or billions of dollars, they are long on this company because of how much they've got beaten. And if you check out the stock chart again, we can see they are down massively. If you check out since they've began to trade, they're still down 64%. So this kind of speaks for itself. And remember, they have over 6,300 employees. So this company is no small company. They're not kind of some kind of spec or a penny stock play or anything to sneeze at. They have very decent revenues. They are very, very much stable. They are not like too wrong in anything. They're just being heavily shorted. So this kind of seems like a good opportunity. The only question and you know the only possible problem could be if you and me are not too light to join the party. With market cap of 2.6 billion dollars, it's not that easy to manipulate it. However, if the shorters which are going to get kind of squeezed, because this is kind this is pretty much inevitable if the retailers are going to continue to pressure on and to continue to discover this kind of a stock and are willing to you know join the movement to cancel the shorts it's almost inevitable that this company will not run up back however you know there might be some kind of correction uh, which could lead like five percent down five to ten percent down correction and then it could continue to explode and then there could be some kind of a w formation on the stock chart but you know this is kind of a what if scenario are you in sdc are you going to do more due diligence on your own or are you going to pass this one and you know wait it out see how all things will turn out let me know in the comment section below also if you have any ticker symbols you'd like me to cover or have a look at or have a look into just let me know in the comments below i'll try to respond to as many as i can or all of them it will only depend on the amount of comments i receive and the time i will have so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.